rule makers of World Football IFAB, the International Football Association Board, plan to introduce a sin bin into football via the blue card. Now, there were going to be tests before the full implementation of the rules, which reportedly the Premier League had signed up to. However, IFAB have delayed the publication of paperwork of what they want from this blue card until its next general meeting on March the 2nd, 2024. Now, a lot of Premier League managers have had their say, including one of my favourite quotes from Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp. In a press conference, Klopp said, quote, It doesn't sound like a fantastic idea in the first moment, but actually, I can't remember when the last fantastic idea came from these guys, if they ever had one. Putting Klopp's beautiful, sarcastic wit aside, which I'd like to think he learnt from being in England, which I thought was amazing, by the way. He brings up a very good point. Have IFAB ever come up with a good idea? Well, surely they have, but that's not why we're here. Tottenham boss Ange Postacoglu brought up a great point in his press conference, and I'm going to paraphrase what he said, saying that most other sports are trying to become less convoluted, whilst football seems to be going in the opposite direction. However, the question remains, would a sin bin in football work? Before we answer that question, or attempt to answer that question, it's a pretty self-explanatory term as to what a sin bin is. However, for those of you that aren't a fan of both codes of rugby, league and union, and maybe ice hockey, and apparently roller derby also use them as well, a sin bin is a self-explanatory term. You commit a sin, you're off the pitch or the field of play for a period of time. Normally that's 10 minutes in rugby, union and league. I'm not sure about ice hockey or other sports, but that's the rules that it looks like football would be going with. So here's the thing. I can see what the football authorities are trying to do here. They want some leeway in terms of the punishment system being very black and white or yellow and red as the case may be. I don't disagree that there should be something interjected which is more severe than a yellow card but not as harsh as a red card. We've all seen very questionable red cards that get overturned post-match and these situations is presumably what a blue card would be looking at avoiding. However, sending a player off at the referee's discretion for 10 minutes is a poor way of managing the game and I fear that this would be used by referees who are very poor at game management to punish anyone and everyone. That aggravates them. We all know a referee like that. I suppose my counter proposal for the blue card and sin bin system would be the introduction of a third colour card and it would be a three strikes and you're out rule. So the yellow card, two yellow cards equals an amber card, and then two amber cards equals a red. So you've got your warning card, final warning, then you're off. Whilst I wouldn't like to see it if it helps certain referees that are poor at managing games, I'm all for it. However, sin binning a player will just act as ammunition for people like me that think the standard of refereeing in England is exceptionally poor. And if you're going to give more ammunition to critics, then what's the point of it anyway? I will just interject and say that this is an international rule change. So better paid officiating in France, Germany and Italy could also implement this rule. Now, I don't know about the standards of officiating in France, Germany and Italy, but here in England, where we're just minutely focusing on is exceptionally poor in our opinion. This is a simple case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But do fix the standard of refereeing in England because it isn't great. Although there are many reasons why being a referee is a crap job, adding a sin bin for them to manage would only make it worse.